Uh, they head out and on to the climb once more. 5.8 from home, Brian. Time for the hurt, and uh, they've already started to stretch out on the nose here. Here we go. Yeah, I don't think we'll see anything from a Horic uh, Milano, just to make sure that he looks after, but it does look as if uh, Ines Grenadiers are setting something up for, for an attack, but I think uh, Milan has uh, got this one covered. He's got um, Betrago and Mahoric uh, on his wheel, but this is a perfect opportunity now for um, Oscar Onley to try and do something. I'm pretty sure he will try something on this climb because... You know, if he does it, I think it'll be kind of game over uh, for him. Uh, it's going to be very difficult uh, now um, to to get any seconds back. Well, the pace that's being instilled for now is a difficult one. Whoa, that street furniture as well, Speary, the side of it. On the bottom of your screen at the moment, he's in about position 15. That's a bit too far back just for now. Here we go, I think this is Kenny Molly that's picking it up for Bignol Powell, so trying to do so, trying to fight his way through as well with Jonathan Milan in the blue jersey. He's got Matej Mohoric uh, absolutely locked on to him. Human Powered Health also want to get involved today. Not sure who it'll be for them, Arvid De Klein, I would have thought. Meanwhile, looking further back, and it is Omar Freire, who just thinks about hitting the front. He's playing with the bins at the moment, um, but uh, whose nose is he putting out? That's what we want to know. And uh, Mohoric never going to be that far away from the point and making a big one is his teammate Milan in the blue jersey. Time to dig in for glory. Where is Onley? Uh, just spotted him. He's not that far back. And indeed looms large all of a sudden. There he is in the white jersey. And on his back wheel, of course, Jonas Fingergo in the red leader's jersey. It's kind of now if you want to take advantage of a situation such as this. Butrago um, was uh, Caruso, I beg your pardon, was also in the frame here uh, to help out. But it is Omar Freyle who hits the front now. And so he'll be guiding everybody down. He'll come off the chatter of the cobbles, uh, take this left hander and then engage with the pace. Uh, gone a bit cagey all of a sudden. And it's Bahrain that hits out, Brian. Yeah, this is it. Caruso now keeping a, a high tempo. They want to, to stop any attacks whatsoever. Omar Freyle is there in, in second place. Kim Hajduk uh, in uh, third place and uh, Brandon Rivera uh, with uh, Mahoric uh, well placed. This is looking uh, a lot more likely for uh, Barry and Victorious. They just want to keep the tempo high. This looks as if it's going to come down to a sprint. Uh, Mahoric will be led out for, from the, the man in the uh, blue jersey, Milan. But um, Oscar Onley, what can he do? I think that was his opportunity, maybe trying to go over the top. So... I think if I was finger go, I'd be a little bit nervous now coming into the sprint. So the only way that he's going to keep a hold of that jersey now is if some others are involved here with the sprint finish. And I think Laurence, if he takes some bonus, I'm not too sure who else is the sprinters that are left in this group behind. But um, Viviana, yep, um, definitely there. He's up there towards the front. So, yeah, it's not over. Mahoric on paper, not as fast <laughs> as Viviani or Laurence. So, yeah, there's still a lot to be played for here. They want a piece of this. Just about everybody who's got some quick legs would like to get involved. Uh, Alexis Laurence is indeed the man from uh, b, b Hotels has got himself into a favoured position right now. Albanese is also there as well from Il Cometa. Uh, so who's going to commit? That's the big question. And the white jersey, I think, still being shadowed by Vingago. It looks like Mohoric is going to have some fun. Caruso is going to be part of the lead-in, but the blue jersey is where you need to look if you want to find Mohoric. He sits just behind Milan, who's in that blue jersey, but Viviani wants to make a statement. He's come up, he's been very, very quiet within this race. He's got a huge lead-out, 3.2 kilometres to go. They're on the downhill, run for home, and Viviani, I'm starting to think, well, maybe if uh, they know that Brennan Rivera is not going to shake it off, it's a Viviani kind of day, but at the moment the pace still being uh, instilled here by Caruso. This is on behalf of Mohoric, who of the favourites has got to be up there, but is there going to be any room? He's got a lot of Indian Grenadiers, man. There he is, and suddenly sailing around the corner comes uh, Sasha Modolo. He wants to make a nuisance of himself, of course he does, in the plum. On the radio there, probably saying I'm thirsty, is Oscar Onley. Well, no chance of uh, a beat on bar right now, only 2.6 kilometres to go. Not quite sure what he was uh, issuing in turn, possibly an oath. Who knows, with the sort of equipment he's got around him. It's anyone's game, 2.5 kilometres to go. Coming into town, a couple of uh, 90 degree turns to happen right now.
Big turn coming in right now. It's the big left-hander. This bleeds almost immediately into a right-hander that will take us down to the two kilometres to go marker. Uh, the road will straighten out ever so slightly. They're still not fully engaged. It won't be until the last 500 metres because of the turns, Brian. Yeah, this is a perfect for uh, Viviani. He's got the numbers in front for, for a lead-out, and you know, he's actually got four riders in front. You know, Milan has got uh, Laurence behind him, Mahoric is there. A reminder that Mahoric only has to finish first or second. It doesn't matter if Viviani wins the stage, as long as uh, Mahoric gets second, he takes the race lead, but so many other riders trying to get involved whoa, with the sprinters. Laurence taken out there by the looks of things. Oh. Wow, 1,800 metres to go. Uh, they all seem to get back up rather quickly, which is good. Some have been misguided. They've gone the wrong way. I don't know whether they've been gated as lapped. I don't think so, but we've lost some riders over to the right-hand side of the road, I believe. Post that crash. Oh, my goodness. It's stripped out a lot here, Brian. We'll see who went missing. Uh, meanwhile, it's Ineos Grenadiers. Uh, this is your crash, uh, but more than that, 1,500 metres to go. Um, we're going to have to leave him behind for the time being. Uh, there is Mohoric, uh, you can see with Milan, uh, Milan just ahead of him in the uh, blue jersey. Make-up time, cannot see only. I think he's got tagged, uh, maybe even misguided. I'm not quite sure, but the DSM crew are there. Can he possibly find something out of today? Not sure. Uh, they are rebuilding themselves. DSM trying to find something here. And here is, is uh, uh, Vingago just uh, getting himself back in. Massive opportunity then for Mohoric, possibly because of the crash. Where is everybody? There is only at the bottom of your screen. Did get disturbed by the crash. This is a huge moment. And it's the drive for the line right now. And Sky picking up. Uh, beg your pardon, Ineos Grenadiers go for it. They're also getting uh, very much involved is, uh, is, is Milan. But as you can see, Mohoric is on the case as well. Wearing number three here. Oh, sharing a bit of shoulderage as well. It's getting very, very busy out there, back down there, I'm afraid. Rustango wants a part of the day likewise, but Viviani is in the bird seat at the moment. But what sort of position can Mohoric get? Time to go right now, and a perfect lead out coming here from Jonathan Milan. He goes uh, uh, to the centre of the road. Milan in the blue. Viviani, of course, wants the victory here, but Mohoric wants something. Wants a piece of this. If he can finish second, he takes the title. Oh my goodness, he's done it. Done it. Viviani takes the, uh, takes the day, but uh, Mate Mohoric wins the title and the crash was very much part i think of the result here today and it means that we have a change of leader of the race at the very last how dramatic was that well we said it was going to be an incredible finish here in zagreb but this every year it comes here there's some sort of drama i just think there was a couple of uh, riders taking